you leave. Me? It's, All right. it's your swan song tonight. Her, her last night. <laughs> yeah. Last night. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I have to go back to school next week. All right, go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Maybe starting off, Ryman and Adon are back. Um, having them back in the lineup puts out like if Ryman played yesterday, but was scratched from today's lineup. Um, Freeman's feel a little, little tightness, and uh, you know, this uh, uh, percussion. You know, we um, we need those guys <coughs> ready to go. And on is uh, looks good tonight. Um, hopefully, uh, we can be there tomorrow. Let's see how it feels. You know, after after being a while, uh, they played five innings. This is the progress they have. Um, and and you know, I mean, what I see is, uh, and I and I talk to him. It looks good. And then um, in the bottom of the seventh, Ortega got picked off of uh, third. Um, what was that like as a manager to see Well, that? you know, I mean, they've been, they've been trying that. And they, they have that play. They shouldn't know that. <coughs> uh, they had that play since we played in, uh, yesterday and the games before. They like to, um, you know, they like to uh, go off, uh, back on the, the, the runners. And, you know, that was too bad because we, we couldn't do some more damage there. But... You know, I mean, it's uh, learning. They're learning about uh, situations like that. Um, assuming the Fryman injury isn't serious, you guys now have a lot of versatility, especially because Wilmer Reyes can play all over the infield. How how uh, valuable do you consider that versatility right uh, now? That's, that's huge. I mean, uh, like I said before, uh, Reyes is the guy you don't supposed to play every day, but, you know, <clears throat> how are you going to sit guys like that? So uh, it can be uh, everyone in the infield and, and, and also all of the outfield. So, uh, I mean, that's giving me more uh, flexibility, like you say, to uh, to use it to use the guy around. And then um, you know, let's see how Fryman is going to be tomorrow. And we also still have a uh, you know Reader and and, and Manzanari who's can, can you know back up too. So I think it's a pretty good chance right there. Then then you know we can do a lot of movement. Has Reyes talked about what position in the infield he feels most comfortable at? He, he just want to play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just want to play. Yeah. Whatever he put in, he's, he will do the job. Um, obviously, uh, Janor really had a nice road trip the last couple days, but um, today he struck out twice. Um, how do you? Uh, and he's been much better on the road than at home. Is there? Ha, have you talked to him about that at all? No, I haven't. <clears throat> but um, I don't know if he, he want to overdo at home. Uh, sometimes players like that uh, on the road, he's feeling I think a little uh, less pressure, and 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 he proved that last yesterday. Yesterday's game was uh, all in order, you know. But um, I like the way he's been he's been uh, he's been doing it lately. So you know, too bad tonight. He hit the ball good today, uh, right at third base. But uh, that's a good sign. So uh, there was a couple of <coughs> little base running miscues tonight. Would you chalk that up to being like over aggressive or just a little bit of bad base running? Um, a little bit bad. I mean, I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, you should know when you can be aggressive on the base. Uh, for example, the, the last play you read you did to, uh, if you gotta cut the ball at second base, he's out for a mile, you know? Um, sometimes you try to be too aggressive, and, and one thing is be aggressive, one thing is be intelligent. Um, you know, and keep dropping the third base, especially if you're so close to home play, that kind of happens. So, you know, sometimes you gotta make a mistake, that's why, that's why we're here. We're trying to uh, teach those guys how to, uh, you know, how, how Acting when they uh, they're in the, in the scoring position, and when the game gets when the game gets a um, little close to uh, to uh, to uh, Sorry, you know, no, eight no. nine innings, it's, it's base running. I mean, base running is so important. So. Another nice save by Leon. I mean, for a player with the small frame that he has, he has unbelievable velocity. Mm -hmm. You know, and and the strikeouts are just. Yeah, and the way he works so quick. Yeah, is <laughs> he's a great. I mean, he's he's, he's a guy. Then uh, I don't know what he's doing here, but uh, <laughs> I tell you, you know, uh, this is a guy who who got a lot of experience and he's got great velocity and great off off pitch and and uh, you know, um, I remember the first time we brought against against we bring it against uh, Staten Island over there. And he walked like two three two two guys on the road. So they would, you know, this this. Is, What's going on? So the first foot out of here, and since that he's been he's been great. So I think he's the guy you want uh, close the games. Yeah. <clears throat> um, at the top of the lineup, I've noticed lately Mangum and Duplantis seem to be the go be going one two in the order. Is that how you plan to go forward? 
Well, <clears throat> I think I think I like the plaintiff down in the in the, in the lineup because he's a more patient, more patient guy, and he can bring a lot to um, you know, especially today. You see what happened today. A lefty. Uh, I don't have I don't have Taylor. Uh, Taylor's got. I like to uh, I like Mangan and Taylor uh, first and second because they create more speed on on the base. Uh, so it's more pressure for the for the uh, for the other team. So. Um, but sometimes gonna be like that. Sometimes gonna be Mangan and the Plantis or the Plantis and Mangan. So big run in the first inning. Uh, how important do you think it is to score first in the game, especially in the first inning? Well, you know, you get a little more lift for the pitchers. I think um, you know if you attack the first inning and and, and you, you punch first, I think you got a pretty good chance. I mean, the, the you know the the expectation of everyone should be high. But to me, it's not over yet. So we. Um, we, um, I think we, we, if you see, we start our first inning and, and then and we score another run in the fifth. So, but uh, every time you you get you get ahead and and the, the game is is important. So I think you give you give a little bit to the pitcher and what they do, they did a great job tonight. So thank you once again. Yeah, that was a nice outing by um, Brian, uh, mm -hmm. Carson Bryant on uh, on the piggyback. Um, you know, he's very quiet, efficient, just does his job and just throws strikes. Yeah. He's, uh, he's been doing a great job. I mean, he's um, he's the guy that, that you want every fifth in every fifth uh, a day. Uh, him and Cleveland have been uh, carrying this team, um, you know, since they started playing, uh, pitching better. Uh, Garrison, once again tonight against the Yankees, not easy. And uh, he'd be able to uh, to shut down, you know. Thank you. Now Mike Evans just is doing his rehab start from Double A. What's it like to have someone who's kind of been higher up in the system before coming no, to these guys? I think it's good. I mean, I think it's uh, like I always say. I mean, hopefully those guys watching the way you guys going on the mound because they got a lot of experience. So, um, uh, every, you know, like I say, I take it if they gonna do a rehab here. Yes. <laughs> I take it, but um, but you know, and he looks good tonight, uh, and then um, you know. Um, like I say, uh, watch all the starter, all the guys go and go watching those guys when they come and, and, and see how they go. It's the way they, they can learn something from them. Any more? Yeah, that'll do it. Cool. Thanks. All right.